Hello one guys, this is Crafted Fluff of the Troll Modeler and this is my uh, first kind of post build thoughts thingy video. So yeah, I built the fine molds type 89B uh, from the show Girls and Panza. I did the uh, first training mission with uh, Saint Gloriana that camouflage him. Uh, I told myself I didn't, wouldn't do it but in the end I did. Uh, but yeah. I want to give some of my thoughts and uh, some things that uh, I found wrong in the instruction book. Uh, so first of all, I want to touch upon uh, the whole build and uh, that went really smooth. There were no problems except for a few spots where I used putty but that was probably mostly my fault rather than the kid's fault itself. Uh, so yeah, I did all the things. Uh, I probably shouldn't have put on this part before uh, decaling. Uh, but yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, so the decon session was a bit um, interesting. But yeah, uh, the one accuracy error, if I can call that, um, I found that you see these uh, four spots right here, these four nubs. In the show, there are actually five of them. Uh, the fifth one is right here. It's a really minor thing, so. I don't think anyone will notice that there are no that there's something wrong. Uh, other than that, doing this, the construction, nothing too major. Uh, but what I did find wrong was in the instructions, uh, and that is on the paint sheen chart. Uh, they mentioned here that you should use olive grub, and uh, I feel like that's a bit wrong. So I contacted. Uh, I asked, I asked on Reddit uh, what people thought of that, and uh, a user commented that I should use XF49 Kaki uh, instead. And uh, in my opinion, it turns out quite well. It turns out uh, a lot better than uh, I think all the drab wood. Uh, I've used, I think, blue green. That was from the Imperial Japanese Army that they used, and it was just way too green. Uh, so yeah, keep watch out for that. Also, one thing to note, if you are getting the upgrade pack, which includes the metal gun barrel, um, the muffle right here, and I think some metal part right here, do not use the muffler. Do, uh, do not use the extra one with the mesh. Rather, use the kit original one right here with the large holes, because this one was from the show, right? See it? Uh, the one from the upgrade pack is actually the one from real life. Um, so yeah, don't use don't use that one. Use this one. Uh, also, I should say, I will, I will say also. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, regarding the decals, I've been told that the dec decals decals uh, were rather thick. So I went a bit ham on the. Uh, soul and set part and that's not really what you should use uh, do that is because the vehicles are very thin uh, they do look thick but they apply perfectly they just you know you touch just dab them a bit with soul and they dissolve uh, that's a, that was a kind of a problematic thing for me because I accidentally touched the decal right here you can see a circle, yeah, that's one of the volleyballs that I had to scrape off because half of the volleyball was on my finger. Other than that, uh, there were no mishaps, thankfully. Uh, for weathering, I used modern Russian vehicle set for MIG, right, MIG weathering set. Um, since this one includes the brown stuff for dark green and all that stuff, um, I figured, you know, since the instructions mentioned olive drab, and I use khaki. The two and two go together a bit, and I think in the end product looks really good. I'll put down a link for the Imgur uh, album so you can see more pictures. But yeah, other than that, um, nothing too much to say. Uh, the last thing I should mention are the rubber tracks, which barely go together. So I wouldn't advise uh, weathering them too much because uh, you might actually break them apart if um, the solvent gets into the rubber. 
and breaks down so yeah you should watch out for that that's about it for my thoughts and uh, i hope you enjoyed this small video and i'll see you next time bye bye